Hi everyone. I've been looking forward to doing this tutorial for a while because it's a wrap that was not invented by me. Um, I think the first person to do it is Melissa Sparks, who actually made her own tutorial on it. But since I've started wrapping using this style, I've been asked over and over and over again, probably at least 10 times online, but many times in person, to make a tutorial on how to do it. So basically, it's a beginner's luck tie, um, but with a little extra twist at the side. It's so easy, and it's gorgeous, and it will really show off the scarf. So right now, I'm using a Rapunzel Can't Catch Me tiffle, and I think I'm just going to, because I'm wearing a navy sweater, I'm going to have the navy part near my face. And again, I'm doing it with one end shorter and one end longer, and I'm folding it to fit my head. It's a very large scarf, so you might need to bunch up the back a bit here. So here I am doing that. And then I'm going to tie it just once in the back. There we go. One tie in the back and then that's hanging. Oh, it already looks so good. It's such a gorgeous scarf. It's really my favorite. Um, and the nice thing about this scarf is it just, it pleats without even doing anything. So I'm just kind of like gathering it at the side here and then bringing it over the top. And you know, if there are any particular colors you want showing for sure, you know, you can do that, but I like this the way it is. Now the key to the beginner's luck is to tie it bringing this bottom scarf forward and on top and around just like so and now you just have a basic beginner's luck and normally what we do is we either leave it down like this or we tuck this in the back like right here but Melissa's version what she does is instead of tucking it around the back or just leaving it she basically twists it around this um, part right here. So there is some tightening work that you'll need to do, but it's really quite easy. I'm just kind of playing around with it to select which colors I'm going to have showing. So I bring it around once. And you can play with it if you want to make it extra tight at the bottom and then kind of getting the ties looser and looser as you go up so it kind of goes up like a funnel. That's a very cool thing to do. I've definitely done that before. I'm just kind of folding it around, make sure all those gorgeous colorful fringes are half the way. And once more, you can do it twice or three times, four times. I think I'm going to do it three times for this video. So I have that nice funnel thing going on. It's just okay. Now you have this, which is, you know, I'm assuming no one wants to walk around like this. So all you got to do again just make sure the fringes are not giving you too much trouble and then bring it up I have a fringe here but I'll deal with that later and tuck it in the top and I've got that fringe gone go away fringe and there you go and again just you adjust it to your liking and that's it it gives your face a really nice shape it really shows off the scarf beautiful and it's beginner's luck so it's pretty easy and pretty friendly okay hope you enjoy and again thanks to melissa for coming up with this awesome tie and can't wait to see what you ladies do with it okay bye